we're asked to classify the multiplication by matrix A as both a one to one and onto, onto not one to one, one to one not onto, neither one to one nor onto. To do this, we write the matrix in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form and identify the pivots. If there are pivots in every column, the multiplication is classified as one to one. If there's pivots in every row, the multiplication is classified as onto. And I've already taken the time to write each matrix in reduced row echelon form using technology. Looking at number one, we have pivots in row one, column one, row two, column two, and row three, column three. Because we have pivots in each column, the multiplication is one to one. And because we also have pivots in every row, the multiplication is also on two. So for this first example, we select both one to one and on two. For number two, Looking at the matrix in reduced row echelon form, we have pivots in row one, column one, and row two, column two. We have pivots in every column, and therefore the multiplication is one to one. However, we don't have pivots in every row, and therefore the multiplication is not onto. We select the third option, one to one, not onto. Let's take a look at two more. For number three, again, I have the matrix written in reduced row echelon form. We have pivots in row one, column one, and row two, column two. Notice here we don't have pivots in every column, and therefore the multiplication is not one to one. We also don't have pivots in every row. The multiplication is also not onto. We select neither one to one nor onto. And for the last example, again looking at the matrix in reduced row echelon form, we have pivots in row one, column one, row two, column two, in row three, column three. We don't have pivots in every column, and therefore the multiplication is not one to one. However, we do have pivots in every row, and therefore the multiplication is onto. And therefore we select onto, not one to one. I hope you found this helpful.